This is a course for residents and med students who are learning kind of the rudiments about cerebrovascular neurosurgery and basically deciding if this is the specialty, the subspecialty they want to go into. Cerebrovascular neurosurgery is a subspecialty within neurosurgery focusing on the problems that can happen with arteries and veins in the brain and neck. There is open cerebrovascular neurosurgery and endovascular. And the conversation many years ago when this course started by Jay Mako was should, should uh, residents be dual trained in endovascular and open? And now the conversation has shifted to how should we dual train residents? Because it's basically everyone needs to know endovascular and open if they're going into cerebrovascular neurosurgery. The course is divided between didactic sessions, a few lectures, where the residents and med students learn about the different disease processes, and then they go right to the hands-on session, session, where they work one-on-one -on -one with some of the experts in the field in how to deploy a coil, how to suck out a clot for a stroke, how to suck out a clot for an intracerebral hemorrhage. So it's immediate learning and practice. My training started at Columbia, where I got a great open uh, cerebrovascular and neurosurgery training. And then I did a fellowship with Jay Mako and Berenstein and the rest of our team at Mount Sinai in endovascular neurosurgery. And then I came on as an attending and my focus is intracerebral hemorrhage. I'm the director of the intracerebral hemorrhage program and I'm basically a stroke neurosurgeon, meaning I focus on any time a patient comes in with a stroke that can be treated with a procedure such as thrombectomy for a large vessel occlusion or if a patient has bleeding in the brain itself, we'll urgently try to remove that blood uh, by, with using an endoscope and uh, sucking out the blood clot.